23 ABC's digital update is brought to you by West Medical. I'm Callan Hobman. Here are some of the stories making headlines locally. Crews continue to make progress on the peak fire burning in eastern Kern County this morning. Officials say they're now at 57% containment with 2,096 acres burned. This is now day five of this fire burning near Havila. The evacuation warnings for people near Walker Basin, Skinner Flat and Claraville remain in place. And if you do evacuate, the Kern River Valley Senior Center remains open at 6409 Lake Isabella Boulevard. Animal Services is also there offering assistance. Well, the month of July has been full of triple digit heat and following Governor Gavin Newsom's recent drought proclamation, Bakersfield is asking people to conserve water. The city is asking you to reduce usage by 15% compared to last year. To help with that, the city is offering free residential conservation kits. They include a garden hose nozzle with shutoff valves, high efficiency shower heads and leak detection tablets. They're also offering rebates on other devices like high efficiency toilets and washers. In other news, you can own a piece of the Bakersfield Condors this weekend. The Condors will be holding a jersey and equipment sale today at Mechanics Bank Arena. You can get anything from hockey sticks to jerseys and even some of the new Pacific Division Championship gear. That's happening this morning at Mechanics Bank Arena. It starts at 9 and goes until 11. He shoots and scores! The first ever Christmas in July 5K is happening today, hosted by the nonprofit Orly's Shoe Drive. It starts at 9 a.m. at Valley Baptist, and there is still time to sign up. Entry into the event is $17, which is enough for a pair of shoes. All the proceeds will be used to get new shoes for kids at the Bakersfield Homeless Shelter after the event. There will be food trucks, water games, and a dunk tank. And it will be a great time to go spend some time in those water games because it is a hot weekend. Here's a look at our weather forecast. We are seeing a high of 101 degrees today and 100 tomorrow. Monday, Tuesday, we drop into those mid 90s and then upper 90s, which you know is a little break from those triple digits, but they come right back, unfortunately, starting on Wednesday and through the rest of next week. As for our mountain communities, we're at 100 today for Lake Isabella and 99 tomorrow. We're in those upper 80s today and tomorrow for Tehachapi and those mid 80s for Fraser Park. Those communities also cool down a little bit compared to this weekend on Monday and Tuesday, but warm up again starting on Wednesday. You can see there's also a chance of thunderstorms and humidity later next week, and we'll keep you updated on those conditions. Well, that's a look at what's making headlines. We'll have another update for you later today.